Hi friend, this is the rate I old monk and today I am with the Oppo A37 so this will be definitely the review of the device we have already done the unboxing of the device earlier so we are going to check out the camera the uh, gaming and each and everything so earlier what I was playing is the lock screen wallpaper which makes enhance in the Oppo devices uh, so the color UI gives you something very special so you will get a different magazine lock screen wallpaper each and every time as far as the display is concerned it comes with the 5 inch SD display 2.5D curve there is a power button there is a sim card slot on the top you are getting a 3.5 mm jack on the side you are getting the volume buttons and the bottom you are getting a micro USB charging slot with the speaker grills here you can see the camera so the camera at the back is the 8 megapixel camera with LED flash it has a metal body looks very sturdy in hands and in the front you are getting a 5 megapixel camera so this is a selfie smartphone definitely you will love the front camera I have used it for a few days you will get the samples at the back of the video so now let's discuss about the software of the device and what it is running on so currently it is running on Android 5.1 Lollipop color OS 3.0 company hasn't said a single word that it will get the marshmallow update or not but still uh, the device looks flawlessly good as far as the device name is concerned you can see the name it is oppo a37 and um, it is running on color os 3.0 uh, not the i will say the latest one but still it has no bloatware the processor it has a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor snapdragon 410 ram is 2 gb memory is 16 gb internal storage it can be expandable up to 128 gb it comes with the dual sim both are nano card slot it supports 4g connectivity as you can see in the box there and it comes with the rose gold color so not the rose gold but the gold color so it looks very good uh, in display of the build quality so one of the key factors it has a minimum ui you will definitely not get too many things this is the lock screen what i was telling you put it on the update mode so that you get the different lock screen each and every time it gets a weekly or monthly update this is the battery so as far as the battery is concerned it is coming with the 2630 milliampere battery which is enough to run i will not complain that it will run that whole day but still somehow managed to run around six to seven uh, hours uh, for the average user not for the heavy user so that is one thing uh, this the key point of the smartphone it is going on sale through the offline channel so definitely you don't have to log in on the flipkart or amazon to get the device so oppo has made sure that it will succeed through the offline partners and here you can see the o cloud so o cloud is something that uh, oppo has its own cloud system where it will store your uh, contacts and sms there this is the rest of the settings if you want to play you can go inside not too much to go and uh, the weather icon is very good it gets auto updated and shows you in the icon what is the temperature right now there's the music icon the music player is good it gives a produce a large uh, quantity of music uh, beautiful audio it will not get distorted so the audio quality is good uh, according to the price point what it is coming so skipping the music part here uh, you can see there are some tools for the sound recording for the office compass so there is fm also present in this one and you can see um, there is one more thing the file manager very optimum use of file manager looks very clean and decent as far as the antutu score is there it is coming around 25813 the geekbench score for single core is 456 and 1300 for the multiple cores and as you can see here nina mark was 54 fps so overall everything is matching with the price point here we are playing asphalt 8 so i didn't find any lag there is no hitting issue the game was playing very fluidly as you can see the color output and the contrast is very well and there was no lag while playing the device i have played for few hours tried it my hands and definitely the game runs very smooth i am fast forwarding this game so that 
you can see the color combination and the richness of the output by the screen uh, it is a hd screen so definitely you will get the display here and nothing is compromised 2.5d curved glass also gives you a bit uh, good quality in holding uh, the design looks more well here as far as the performance is concerned, the qual quality of the device, it is very good. There is uh, no interruption in the 4G also. It runs very well for the 4G and in the 3G network. So we didn't find any call drop or something using the device. So that was the added advantage. As far as the rest features are concerned, uh, the audio is something that you will definitely like while playing these games. So the audio output is great here according to the smartphone. It is very small smartphone and uh, as i win here i will skip this part so gaming will be fun playing using this device and uh, i'm just recently showing you showing you because uh, i have got a lot of requests that show the gaming of the device so gaming is not a uh, tough part coming back to the camera the camera ui is very snappy as you can see the snapper takes the uh, pictures very easily there is no issues with that there are few modes you can select them you can just switch on the modes directly by putting the finger on them. There are modes that you can see. There's panorama mode, slow motion mode, there's beauty mode, video mode, and the photos mode. So I will switch to the photos mode to show you. So sorry for the slow motion. It has a time lapse. Here you can see there's a ultra HD mode, there's GIF mode. And there are a few modes where you can record the video properly. There's normal mode also. and so the overall what we are coming to the camera performance sorry for the camera interruption it is not give, giving a good picture quality here but uh, for the camera performance the front camera is something which will give you a better experience the selfie will be a delight in this smartphone and in there you can see there is normal experience here you can see few more modes are there so you can put the touch on voice palm whatever the motion you want and how many seconds you want there is a sdr mode so the modes are there definitely and you can use them uh, according to the play but still the basic as you can see we have taken some pictures so this is a normal picture from i have taken and the color output was coming good uh, i will say that i have tried some filters also playing black and white and other filters so it came out well and the rear camera is just okay it is not too good but uh, the impressive part was the front camera the selfie camera which take out which take out something very good i was playing something with the app i did in the editing mode i tried something very closely to take out the picture here so somehow the picture comes out good enough it is not too great here so uh, the camera is overall an average performance it is not too good for the rear one but yes the front one for the selfie it gives you a perfect delight here and so what what is the main thing in the smartphone it is a lag free smartphone it is not giving you the heating issue and the build quality is really excellent here what you are getting a loss is the price point is little higher than its competitor you can get the smartphone little less price in the market in the other computers but yes the build quality and overall performance is good so if you want specs for you can definitely go to something else this is all about oppo a37 this at the rate are you old monk signing off please like the video share the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for us